हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी ई क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एक्सरसाइज एफ ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन नेम्ड फ्रैक्शंस इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल बी स्टडिंग द टॉपिक द सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस now let us take an example of the very first question convert into like fractions and then subtract 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 first of all we will be converting these fractions into like fractions so in order to convert it into like fractions we are supposed to take the lcm of the denominators and here the denominators are 4 and 2 the lcm of 4 and 2 is 4 then after taking the lcm we need to keep that lcm as the common denominator for both the fractions then fill we'll multiply and divide it with the numerator as well as the denominator now how this multiplication and division process goes on first of all we will see the denominator of the very first fraction that is 3 by 4 we'll divide it with the lcm 4 and then that answer is to be multiplied with the numerator then keeping the subtraction sign in between same thing we'll be doing with the second fraction that the lcm will be divided by the denominator of the second fraction that is 2 and that answer is to be multiplied with the numerator of the first fraction that is 1 on solving this part we we'll get the answer as 3 minus 2 as the numerator and the denominator will be 4 so after solving it the answer came out to be 1 by 4 which cannot be further simplified so this is the fraction which we got on subtracting 3 by 4 and 1 by 2 now question number 2 subtract 4 minus 3 by 7 so here we can see that the first part is a whole number part and the second part is a fractional part so now we'll consider the denominator of 4 as 1 if any number is not having any denominator then we can assume the denominator of that particular number to be as 1 so we'll get the fraction as 4 upon 1 minus 3 upon 7 now taking the lcm of the denominators 1 and 7 we'll get the answer as 7 keeping the denominator common denominator as 7 and then following the multiplication and division process in the numerator 7 which will be divided by 1 and then the answer will be multiplied with the numerator of the first fraction that is 4 minus 7 divided by the denominator of the second fraction that is 7 and then multiplied with the numerator of the second fraction that is 3 on solving this process we'll get the answer as 28 minus 3 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator solving further 25 upon 7 now here we can see 25 upon 7 cannot be reduced further so we we'll leave the answer as it is otherwise we can convert it into mixed fraction and the mixed fraction of this uh, fraction is 3 4 by 7 so this is the complete solution Now question number three, eight three by ten minus four four by five. So first of all, these fractions are given in mixed fractions. So we need to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions, and then only we can subtract them. So converting them into improper fractions, eight multiplied by ten, and then plus three. That is eighty three upon ten minus. 
4 5s are 20 plus 4 that is 24 upon 5. Now taking the LCM of the denominators 10 and 5 we got the LCM as 10. Now keeping the LCM as 10 the common denominator and then following the multiplication and the division process so 10 divided by 10 and the answer is to be multiplied with the numerator of the first fraction that is 83 minus 10 divided by the denominator of the second fraction that is 5 and the answer is to be multiplied by the numerator of the second fraction that is 24. On solving this further we get our answer as 83 minus 48 divided by 10 then 35 upon 10 now 35 upon 10 can be further reduced and the um, uh, common term for reducing is 5 so we we'll reduce the numerator as well as the denominator with 5 we will get the answer as 7 by 2 and we can even further reduce or we can even further convert this 7 by 2 into mixed fraction that is 3 1 by 2. Now question number 4 subtract 3 upon 8 plus dash is equal to 15 upon 16. So here you are supposed to find out what should be added in 3 by 8 to find out 15 by 16. That means for an example let me give you what should be added to 2 to get the answer as 6. So we will add 4 to 2 to get the answer as 6. Similarly here the question is similar what should be added to 3 by 8 to get the answer as 15 upon 16. So we will consider that particular fraction to be x which we have to find out. Then 3 upon 8 plus x is equal to 15 upon 16. Now x can be written as x is equal to 15 upon 16 minus 3 upon 8. In order to find out the value of x, we will uh, shift this 3 upon 8 towards the right hand side and right now on the left hand side it was in uh, the positive sign with the positive sign when it will move towards the right hand side it will come up with the negative sign. So the value of x will be 15 upon 16 minus 3 upon 8. Now taking out the LCM of the denominator 16 and 8 we will get the answer as uh, 16 Then following the same process which we were uh, doing earlier keeping the denominator as 16 which is the LCM and then dividing that LCM with the denominator of the first fraction and the answer is to be multiplied with the numerator of the first fraction then minus then dividing the LCM with the denominator of the second fraction and then multiplying the answer with the numerator of the second fraction. On doing all this process, we will get the answer as 15 minus 6 divided by 16. That is 15 minus 6 in the numerator and 16 in the denominator. So proceeding further, 9 upon 16 is the required answer and this fraction cannot be converted into mixed fraction and this fraction cannot be reduced further. Why this fraction cannot be converted into mixed fraction? Because this is a proper fraction and proper fractions we cannot convert into mixed fractions and since uh, it is also in its lowest term so we cannot reduce it also. Question number 5, 7, 7 by 12 minus 8 upon 9. So here one fraction is given in mixed fraction. So we will convert that fraction into improper fraction and then we will solve further. So on solving we got the fraction as 91 upon 12 minus 8 upon 9. Now finding out the LCM of the denominators 12 and 9. The LCM is 36. Keeping the LCM as the denominator and solving further. 36 divided by 12 multiplied by 91 minus 36 divided by 9 multiplied by 8. We will get the answer as 3 multiplied by 91 minus 4 multiplied by 8. 
273 minus 32 in the numerator and 36 in the denominator. So our answer came out to be 241 divided by 36. Now this term or this fraction cannot be reduced further. It is already in the reduced form. So we can convert this fraction into the mixed fraction and our answer is completed. So on converting 241 upon 36 into mixed fraction, we got the answer as 625 upon 36. Moving on towards your home assignment, the very first question is 9 4 upon 9 minus 6 2 upon 3. So here this uh, is given in mixed fraction. So first of all you will convert these fractions into improper fractions and then only you will solve this question. Second question 13 upon 24 minus 11 upon 36. Third 21 9 upon 10 minus 16 again convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction and since 16 is a whole number so you just consider the denominator of 16 as 1 so this fraction will be uh, 16 upon 1 then 11 upon 18 minus 10 upon 27 thank you very much for watching this video i hope you must have understood this exercise very well have a great day ahead